Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you receive an invitation from someone else to share their calendar, you can add it to your calendar view. The easiest way to add the calendar is to click the link in the email you received inviting you to share the calendar. You can also add a shared calendar within the calendar app. Right-click on Other Calendars and choose the Open Calendar option. A pop-up box will appear with two lines for text entry. If you are adding a calendar from someone within your company, type their name in the From Directory field. This will act just like the To field in an email message. When the person who is sharing their calendar appears, click their name and then click Open to add their calendar to your calendar view. They will be ascribed a color, just like when creating new calendars, and their name will appear above your calendar view. If you are adding a calendar from someone outside your company, right-click Other Calendars, choose Open Calendar, and type the URL for the calendar into the Internet Calendar box. Copied a URL, click Open, and the calendar is added to your Other Calendars list and will appear when selected above the calendar view. Generally, Internet Calendar URLs end in an ICS extension. If you know the URL you are typing in is correct, but the calendar will not load, click Cancel and try to load the calendar again. Sometimes you need to change HTTP colon forward slash forward slash to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. After you have added a shared calendar, you can right click the calendar to edit or remove it from your calendar app. You can rename the calendar or click remove to remove the calendar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.